Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Good morning, Star Trek League of Man fans. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to kind of continue talking about the updates that came out yesterday. We had a mini patch and we don't get many of those. This is 40.1 where we got the treasury building yesterday. More details of that rolling out here through the next few days. And then also some fixes to some of the problems that you had. And honestly, one of the biggest ones that at least has come across my doorstep. And I know DJ's got a lot of it. And all the content creators is, hey, Hey, content creators, have you noticed that uh, our power seems to be dropping? <gasps> oh, no. Less power? Scopely nerfed our ships? How could they? Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, it's not that serious. So what is happening is they fixed an issue that, uh, funny enough, they didn't fix it how... I thought they'd fix it. And me and DJ actually had a good laugh about that yesterday, where how we thought they would fix the problem that was causing one of the pop-ups that had become just this huge erroneous error that that was redundant. Yeah, that 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 was redundant. Anybody know what the word redundant means? Because that was it. If you know what the word redundant means, comment down below. Anyway. An error has been popping up for a lot of players. Like, hey, you wanted to upgrade a ship on or a part on your ship. And it said, no, you don't have enough resources. And you're sitting there going, yeah, I do. Let's talk about what that problem was. And actually, thanks to Stewie Doo and, and you know, somebody passing him some screenshots from his Katinga, I was able to just say, hey, I can make that video today. I wasn't actually going to make this video and then Stewie and then several other people just asking this question ad nauseum. I was like, you know what? Maybe we finally should. So I want to take a look at that as an example. And so you can take a look at like my ISS jelly. Many who are used to seeing it on the stream probably like, Hey, is that as strong as it normally is? Or is it, has it gotten a little weaker? Or what about, you know, my interiors? What about, you know, um, my enterprise, which at 5.3, that's, that's weaker than my what? That can't be right. It, it's actually not. I don't, I'm listing a health one, but yeah, you see a slight reduction in stats in terms of your battle power. Now I always say all the time that power in this game is extremely overrated in terms of ship strength. It's not that important, but let's talk about why you're seeing a little bit of a decrease. And to do that, we're going to take a look at a screenshot provided by a player. To talk about the problem that you were familiar with. Bam. Transition. So right here, you see a, we're going to have a before and after to compare. This is the before. So this was a few days ago, and this is a Katinga's high energy torpedo. So it's a kinetic weapon. Mainly thing, you know, the main thing that we're looking at here is looking at the totals here. Look at the ship parts, look at the crystal right here, look at the ore, look at the titanium and dilithium, and see the cost of these parts. Now, what you might have noticed is in the update, some of these prices went up. And an example of that would be if we switch this same thing yesterday, looky, looky, where's the, what? And obviously some people are going to be kind of upset by this because it feels like they went and made things more expensive, but that's not actually the case. And, and what ended up happening is so we can do a quick comparison. We can swap it on back. You see, look, look at the crystal 5,040. Now, if we swap it back, crystal is 5,491. So it did go up a little bit, but not much. But look at the ore. So look at it right here. We're at 1090 out of 3,011, but here it only showed 28. So why did that go up by 300? And then you can also see the actual cost of titanium and dilithium go up significantly between the two. So we're looking at the before and after here, and it can be kind of confusing looking at it. So what was causing this problem that we would go from picture a to picture B and it become more expensive. So in short, there are a ton of researches in this game. And what we've had happen multiple times in the past is that some researchers would display being applied that should never have been applied. Now here's some examples of that. So if we go into our research tree and we go into say our combat and we come all the way over to the far right, you'll see play, you know, things like, Evasive Klingons and Strength of Kalos and Klingon Firepower. And this is all supposed to be Klingon based. Well, as I did a, a couple of studies or, you know, studies with Order to Chaos and Hugo, 
Well, one of the things that I noted was like, if I before did an evasive Klingon research in my dock, it would actually show all my ships got this bonus. Like every ship will get a dodge bonus, all of them. Now I've actually had screenshots of that. If y'all don't believe me, we can share it. But if you actually went out into a fight and you tried to do some calculations, then it's like, well, where did, where did the points go? Because it would not actually matter. It's a display error. And that's what we had here is not only did you have things like this being an issue, but then you had these efficiency researches that we all know and love. And I preach so often the importance of efficiency research. And so look, you really want to go and get your, you know, your ship structures and you really want to get the, you know, explore pure gas and all these other things. But what was happening is let's say that you had this one right here. It was applying to all ships, regardless of type. So you would have the Klingon ship structure, then you would have the Federation ship structure, then you would have the Romulan ship structure, and all these different efficiency researchers would be applying even though they should not apply to certain ship types. So as I said before, my redundancies, it was erroneous. And that's where you see like in this screenshot, here's the original. This is the before. This is a few days ago. And then here is after the fix gets applied, much more expensive. But it makes sense. Now, the bad thing is we really thought they would manage to do this without adjusting the stupid power scale because that's what really trips people out. But the reason that you were getting told, hey, you don't have enough resources is honestly because you probably didn't, but the game was telling you the wrong information. So Scopely, in their infinite wisdom, never really explained what this was. So that's why you need content creators like me and DJ because people have been messaging us one-on-one -on -one about this for months. And well, I'll say months, and it has been multiple months, but that makes it sound like it's been eight or 10. And surely it's not been that long since they fixed it. I mean, sure, I hear about it from y'all on the Discord all the time, but surely it's not been happening that much, has it? But so what what's going on is all these different researches that should not apply to all ships were applying to all ships, and now, through the update, it's only applying specific things. Now, here's the kicker, though. Here's what's important. When it comes to your battle strength, when you actually had gone out into a battle, a lot of this stuff wasn't actually getting applied anyway. So you kind of had a fake number. So even though I talk about battle power, ship power not being important, it was even less important because you weren't even seeing the real number to begin with. You're seeing a fictitious number. You're not actually weaker. You just are seeing your real strength. You're seeing what actually should have been there from the beginning. Still annoying. Agreed. Very annoying. No lies told. But this fix should get rid of the errors for if you would have tried to upgrade this and hit the upgrade now and it would have been like you don't have enough resources. Now that error should go away. We shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Now we do still have, you know, several things to test out in terms of researches that have worked. And there are some researches that were applying to ships that probably shouldn't have been that I haven't told them about. And I'm curious that they got fixed. And I'm not going to talk about it here on the video for obvious reasons, because it was beneficial to you, the players. We don't want to take away positive things for the players if we can avoid it. But this was a huge negative where if you wouldn't upgrade your ship, you thought you had the amount of resources or what's worse is those who really counted their resources would notice that they would lose more than they were told. And it was very confusing for players because they would go into their resources and say, hey, you know, I lost 100 million more than I should have in Tritanium. What is going on? Or, you know, they would look in their actual materials and come down and be like, hey, it said it was only going to take 3,000 uncommon. It took 3,400. Something's not adding up. And that's what it was. For a while now, we've had this issue with research that has now been rectified. It took a while but it's there and now you understand it. Now, sadly, this is not something that was really conveyed by them. They just said that we fixed the error. But I think when you have an issue that was as serious as this, when it literally affected upgrades and affected hundreds, if not thousands of players, because I know myself, I, I was getting a lot of DMs about this on Facebook and on Discord. I'm sure DJ and no one shall and the moderators on the official score were also getting the same thing. Lots and lots of questions. Well. That means they probably should have explained it. And that's one critique I still constantly have for Scopely three years later. The communication is still subpar. 
we would love you to be able to explain this and i know i'm kind of stepping on my own toes here because it's actually good that they don't because why would you come to this channel if you, they told you everything that's correct like I'm, I'm dumping on my own job but as a game dude you got to communicate this and when you're having these problems these copy pasta responses and customer support it just gets old so here you have it that's why you had the patch yesterday and, and why the note in your bug fixes news menu which hey at least we get a, a news menu now, i mean there was a a time where these bug fixes weren't even getting mentioned so shout out to them for mentioning the bug fixes but the very top one not enough resources error despite looking available due to faction specific research buffs being applied incorrectly now you see it you understand it and it's been relayed to you and hopefully it makes you feel a little bit better you're not actually weaker you actually haven't lost anything the game's just doing what it should do and explaining to you and showing you what you should be seeing so now you get a better idea of where you're actually at even though my enterprise looks weaker than my jellyfish it's still better than my jellyfish did you enjoy this video did it answer your questions or did it just bring you into a rage did it just make you so angry that you just wanted the rivers to run red with the blood of your enemies live long and prosper let's save for the space cowboys deuces that's me catch you on the next video and uh hey if you're feeling that level of anger chill out take a break comment down below bye an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house